Hello everyone! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So our topic for today is about scientific notation. So before I start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon para updated kayo sa mga videos na ina-upload ko. Again, this is Sir Chad, your math along and mentor. Let's begin! Okay, tulad na sinabi ko kanina, our topic for today is about scientific notation. So before we start, let us first define what is the scientific notation. Scientific notation is a system of notation used to express very large or very small numbers conveniently. It uses exponents so as not to require the use of many zeros, which can be confusing and lead to errors. A scientific notation is written in the form a times 10 raised to n, where a can be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. It is written as a number from 1 through 9, multiplied by 10, raised to the appropriate exponent. Okay, to better understand what is a scientific notation, let us, of course, have an example. So, example number 1. So, let us convert 275,000 into scientific notation. So, first, kailangan ang scientific notation, ginagamit natin siya upang ang mga malalaking numbers ay ma-convert natin into form A times 10 raised to N. So, paano? So, kailangan natin galawin yung decimal point ng given number. Nasaan ang decimal point ng given number? So, ang decimal point niya is nandito. Kadalasan, hindi na nga lang siya sinusulat. And anong gagawin natin sa decimal point? So, para maging Maliit na number lang si 275,000, dadali natin siya sa kaliwa. And how many times na nagpalipat-lipat tayo ng decimal point? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, nagkaroon tayo ngayon ng 2.75. And 5 times natin nilipat yung decimal point. Therefore, we can put 275,000 into form of scientific notation by... 2.75 times 10 raised to 5. Bakit 5? Kasi 5 times natin siya nilipat. And bakit positive? Kasi to the left ang ginawa natin. At ang 275,000 is a large number. Okay. So example number 2 tayo. So given number as 0 0.000025 let us convert it into a scientific notation. As you can see here, this number is less than 1. Bakit ko nasabi? Kasi 0, 0.00 something siya. So, ibig this is a too small number. So, masyado siyang maliit. So, para ma-convert natin siya into a scientific notation, gagalawin ulit natin yung decimal point. And dadali natin dito sa gitna ng 2 and 5. So, we can move it to the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 times tayong tumalon or 6 times tumalon yung decimal point. So, nagkaroon tayo ng 2.5 times 10 raised to 6. But, 0 0.000025 is a too small number at papunta sa kanan yung ating decimal point. So, therefore, 6 is negative. So, this will be the scientific notation of the given number. Okay. So, third example, so let us make 4 million or convert it into a scientific notation. So, asan decimal point? Pag whole number? Nasa dulo. So, pakaliwa yung ating punta. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, narito na yung ating decimal point. So, meron tayong 4 times 10. So, 4 million is a very large number at ilang beses tayo tamalon? So, 6. Therefore, ang sign ng 6 is positive because this is a large number. Yung kanina, negative, kasi it is too small number. So, this will be the scientific notation of 4 million. Okay. So, ngayon, marunong na tayo mag-convert ng mga too large numbers and too small numbers into scientific notation. So, paano ba natin masasabi kapag ang number ay too small and too large? Too small numbers 
are numbers which are less than 1, like 0 0.1, 0 0.0005, 0 0.00001 to 5. So those are numbers which are too small that we can be converted into scientific notation. So ang gagawin lang natin doon, dadalhin natin ang decimal point to the right. And kapag to the right, ang decimal point na pagdadala, ibig sabihin, negative yung ating exponent ng 10. Then, kapag naman two large numbers, these are numbers greater than 1. So, for example, 100 or 1 million or 250,000 or 160 trillion. Those are numbers which are too large that can be converted into scientific notation. And what should we do? Nasaan yung decimal point? So, madalas, nasa dulo siya. So, ang gagawin natin, we can move the decimal point to the left until the first digit. So, kapag papunta sa kaliwa ang pag-move ng decimal point, ang exponent ng 10 will be positive. Okay, after that some notes about scientific notation, what if ang binigay ngayon is scientific notation and kailangan natin siyang i-convert into decimal notation. So, paano gagawin? Let's try natin. So, give an example number 1. So, halimbawa, ang binigay is 3.2 times 10 raised to 5. So, kung makikita nyo, ang exponent ng 10 is 5. 5 is a positive number. So, anong gagawin natin? Is 3.2 previously a too small number or too large number? So, positive yung exponent. Therefore, si 3.2 dati is malaking number. So, 3.2. So, mag-move tayo ng decimal point to the right or to the left. So, decimal point movement will be to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This will be the decimal point now. And we will add zeros dito. Therefore, ang decimal notation ng scientific notation 3.2 times 10 raised to 5 will be 320,000. Okay, next example tayo. So, 6.3 times 10 raised to negative 7. So, ang exponent ng 10 ngayon is a negative number. So, kung negative number, ibig sabihin yung 6.3 is a too small number. Which means, this is negative 1 number. Or maaring siyang 0.000 dati. Pero, kailangan natin siyang i-convert into a numerical or decimal notation para ma-confirm natin. And how will we do that? So, 6.3. So, to the right or to the left ang decimal? So, to the left. Kasi, too small nga number nga eh. So, ilang beses natin ginalaw ang decimal point? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative. 7. Then, we will add zeros here. And, don't forget, 0 point para ma- emphasize natin yung decimal point dito. So, therefore, 6.3 times 10 raised to negative 7 will be 0 0.000000063. And this will be its decimal notation. So, another example, let us have 4.23 times 10 raised to negative 2. We will convert it into a decimal notation. So first, alamin muna natin, ano exponent ni 10? Negative 2. Negative yung sign. Therefore, pasaan ang ating decimal point? To the right or to the left? So, since this is a negative number, this number must be less than 1. So, ang gagawin natin sa decimal point? To the left. 1, 2. So, nandito yung decimal point. So, 0. 0.0. Therefore, the decimal notation of 4.23 times 10 raised to negative 2 is 0 0.0423. Okay, tandaan natin lahat na ang movement ng decimal point will be depending on the exponent of 10. But it will also depends on the sign of the exponent. Kapag positive ang exponent ng 10, ibig sabihin, ang galaw ng ating decimal point will be to the right for it to be converted into a decimal notation. 
kapag naman negative, so, ang gagalaw natin sa decimal point will be to the left para makonvert natin siya into a decimal notation. So, as you can see here, halos parehas lang yung naging process. Magkaiba lang yung number of steps or talon ng decimal point kasi magkaiba yung kanilang exponents. That's all for today, everyone. So, tandaan nyo lang yung mga notes na binigay ko kanina. At huwag na huwag na yung kakalimutan kapag conversion from decimal notation into scientific notation and scientific notation into decimal notation. Napaka sisimple lamang ng conversion na ito. I hope that you like this video and you also understand our topic for today. Don't forget to like and give some comments, suggestion, and clarification in the comment section below if you have. If you also like, you can also directly message me on my Facebook page. Just search at Sir Chad TV where S, C, and TV are all capitalized. Again, this is Sir Chad, your math and mentor. Thank you and goodbye.